is that an okay and not medical advice i know it's all individual but <laughs> i just that disclaimer so, but i take resveratrol okay and i recommend it i recommend it to patients because it can promote a healthier balance of estrogen metabolites so there's a certain estrogen metabolite that is more apt to stimulate growth of the uterus or breast as far as cancerous growth. So yeah. this resveratrol will decrease that amount in that percentage. Oh, okay. And there's also studies that resveratrol, like IV resveratrol has been helpful for endometriosis. So we know it does have wow. some antioxidant, anti-cancer, or not, sorry, not cancer, anti-estrogen properties. Yeah. I have not read or seen that it promotes estrogen okay. like activity. However, I, if you're saying it's dose related, that could be true as well. It could be like the higher doses of it. So it's not something that I shy away from okay. or have some concerns about, but like anything, it's like we, I, the, the you, you, Americans are like, oh, this probiotic must be better. Let me take a hundred thousand colony farm yes. units of this instead of like <laughs> 20, you know, like more is better. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. So it could I, be that. Maybe it was something that there was a study yeah. that looked at high dose or something. Yes. I try to remind people that, you know, dosing is important. And that's why you, even with like supplements, you need to work with your doctor because, you know, like more isn't always better. You know, the, do the dose makes the poison. Um, so everyone always has to be careful about that. 